what's up you guys, off to reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to using more Stargate SG-1. This is season 2 episode uh, 18, so let's get into it. Watching Star Wars, what the hell? Shouldn't they be here by now? Yes. I do not believe the Tok'ra would mislead us. Well, assuming it was the Tok'ra who sent the message to meet them here in the first place. I mean, all we really received was a, a set of coordinates. On our radio frequency. Where, who else would send us a signal like that? You know, I'm not real crazy about this. Don't call us. We'll call you policy. Well, her dad is one. And assuming their ways are all the ways that they said that they are. It's interesting. They're like... So I guess they're wearing like more of a tan one because there's a lot of sand. I didn't know that there was different colored camo. But I suppose that makes sense. There. Is that who I think it is? Tauri, please. Teal, Apophis is much more valuable to us alive than dead. I mean, yeah, but also if we, if we kill him, it's good. Sir, we've got incoming. Alright, dial us up. Get us out of here. What are they doing? They wish to take Apophis alive. Got one of those things into this target. That's probably the Tokra. General Hammond, Papas. Papas. General Hammond, we've met. I demand Kalma. I don't remember the meeting, but I'm not really right. sure, but I think what he's asking for is sanctuary. We didn't what? do that here. Did we do that here? Oh. I think some rival ghoul just kicked his ass. There were several other death gliders in pursuit when we took him prisoner, sir. I did not tell Mom. You're not in a position to demand anything, sir. Lock him up. Sir, with all due respect, he is badly injured. He's not going to be any good to you at all unless we get him into the OR right now. Do what you need to keep him alive, Doctor. We've got a lot of questions that need answers. Should also yes, chain him down. Okay, let's move on. Ground. I'm gonna start my two IVs and my ringer's last tape wide open. Let's go. I want four SFs posted at all times. If he attempts to escape, you're authorized to do whatever is necessary to stop him. We'll debrief at 11. Take his fancy armor off of him because, like, I don't know, he's got some weird yes, thing on it, doesn't he? Both femurs were smashed and there was internal bleeding. Surgery and transfusions have stabilized him for now. The Goa'uld symbiote within him will repair those injuries. Well, I think it's kept him alive so far, Tails, but take a look at this monitor. See, what you're looking at is the actual symbiote attached to the host brain stem. Now, do you see all these lesions? I mean, there's dozens of them. I can treat the human part, but as for the symbiote itself... There is no treatment. Sam? <laughs> Just thinking at the beginning of the so... of Jolina. Pain. And she was killed by the Ashra. How about, um... Like, the doll and all stuff. The Ashrak had this device. He used it on us. It was meant to cause incredible pain. Apophis was tortured by the same thing. This kind of torture wasn't designed to extract information. It's a method of execution. So what does he really want? You heard him yourself. He wants sanctuary. I'm not buying that. He gambled we would show compassion even to our worst enemy. He was right. You think he orchestrated this? Let me tell you something. The only compassion I showed was by not blowing his head. I have witnessed once powerful Goa'uld enter the service of their conquerors in exchange for life. When Apophis himself was the conqueror, it gave him great pleasure to see his enemies so weakened. Yeah, but we're a long way from being his conquerors. But we are greatly responsible for his downfall. He lost an army when you destroyed those two ships in orbit. Raytek did say that seriously weakened his place among the Goa'uld system wants. So his blood is in the water and all the other sharks are having a feeding friend. And he has come here seeking refuge. 
You're well, like smiling. Talk. You're like, you're so proud of this. I say we beat whatever information we can out of old Snake Boy. Open that gate and toss him back at the sharks. Not so fast, Colonel. He's essentially a prisoner of war. That gives him certain rights. Rights, General? We also have to consider the host. I'm sorry, sir, but we are dealing with two beings within one body. The symbiote may be an enemy, but the host is innocent. Oh, come on. How much of the host do you think is still around after all this time? The host could have asked for this. We also need to consider military... The host could be worse. I've informed my superiors of our situation. My orders are to extract whatever information we can in the short time we may have. He will tell you nothing of use, General Hammond. If he believes it's in his own interest, he might. Sir? You should have shot him. I mean... I agree. <laughs> I get it. They can get information, but shouldn't shut it. Doctor Fraser is away. Not so close, Doc. He's not strong enough to do anything to hurt me, Colonel. He wants to talk to you. O'Neill, I am dying. My heart bleeds for you. You lie poorly. It is you who have done this. You rejoice. Not really. What do you want? To live. Can't help you there. That's between you and your God. Oh, wait a minute. You are your God. You know, she's like, he's not strong enough to do it's anything not. to me. His, like, gold could have gone into there. That's than a you thing that admit. happened. You tell me, what are you worth? Your people. They're still primitive. You will be destroyed. You don't look like you're up to it. There is another. There is much you would learn from me, Tauri. But for that knowledge, there is a price. Mm hmm You don't really have a lot to bargain for. A new host. A host. So that I may live in exchange for all the knowledge of the Gore world. The secrets of star travel. Our weapons. Our power. All that. And die more. Go to hell. A single human life is worth so much you would risk a world. That's right. That's why they call us the good guys. Doc, let me know when he dies. Sokar! What? An ancient and powerful gold. You have helped him to become strong. Mm. Tell you last time my loyal Java died stealing me from his grasp. He will not rest until I am found. That is why I chose to come here. So that in death, I could be assured you will die with me. Sokar is a Goa'uld of ancient times. He was once ruler of the System Lords, but was defeated by an alliance of Goa'uld many centuries ago. Apophis and Ra were among his conquerors. Where did he go? Apophis himself believed him destroyed. Obviously, he was mistaken. Well, if he was almost wiped out, how bad could he be now? It's rhetorical, Tiok. His name's also very old in Earth mythology. He was the most feared deity in ancient Egypt, the original god of death. Got anything a little more up to date? Well, I don't know what he's been up to lately, but according to the Book of the Dead, there was a time he ruled all of Earth. His lands around Memphis were covered by darkness and inhabited by serpents. Unas, the first host of the Gold. Well, that makes sense. I mean, if the Unas were the first ones, there had to have been a time when both form of Gold hosts coexisted, Unas and human. Kind of like Neanderthal. Which is he? I don't know, but his portion of Tuat, or the other world, was filled with lakes of fire where the wicked were thrown into his punishment after torture and mutilation. Hell. Yeah, basically he was the original Satan. Ah, oh, isn't that special? Incoming traveler. Speak of the devil. Is there any way to determine what that was? Sir, we can get a radiation team in there to check the decay signature on the islands. In the meantime, sir, I'd like to get back to the interrogation, if I might. Okay. Sir, I'm kind of the resident expert on Silcar around here. I'd kind of like a shot at the interrogation. Yeah, go ahead. Hmm, I wonder what Daniel's gonna be like here. Is he the one that took his wife away? Come, Daniel. You know my name? Mm-hmm. Because of what we hold in common, Amanit, my queen. Her name is Share. She is my wife. They are one and the same. Amanet possesses her. Shari is a prisoner. But she is somewhere. I want you to tell me where. Amanet. I loved her. You do not believe me? No. No, I, I don't think that's possible. How could you? Our minds, our knowledge, our very being is so much greater, so much more. I know where your child is. My 
your son. Yes. I brought him into the world with my own hands on Abydos. He was taken by Heru. No. By me. I have no use for the child now. I'm on net. I knew the moment I laid eyes on her, she was a vessel for the queen. If you don't tell me where she is, I'll kill you right here. You have neither the strength nor the will. Game. We think that thud we heard hitting the iris was a Sagan box. Its radioactive signature matches the one we gave the telegram. They're coming here. Incoming travel. Decision time, sir. Captain Carter, are you 100% certain? That the signature matches the one we gave the Tok'ra? Yes, sir. But that it came from them? There's no way to be sure. What if one or more of the Tok'ra have been captured by Sokar and tortured? I don't think that they would give us up. I'm with Carter, General. I say we keep the door open. Very well. <laughs> Samantha. Martu. Defense team, you may stand down. I offer you greetings from the High Council of the Tok'ra. Why didn't my father come? He's dealing with more urgent matters. We come only to offer you a word of warning, which is... We know you have Apophis as your prisoner. You must return him to the planet you retrieved him from immediately. What? You've shown great skill and cunning in retrieving Apophis from the hands of Sokar. However... You know, as much as I love where you're going with this, we didn't exactly do that. Our operatives aboard Sokar's vessel witnessed you leave the crash site and enter the Stargate. We received a signal, a set of coordinates. We had thought it came from you. We sent no such signal. We know that now. Then who? We're going to assume it was Apophis. Why would he take refuge among the Tory? He despises you. More than that, you have nothing of use to him. He's going down. He wants to take us with him. He has taken advantage of your weakness. We don't consider what we did a sign of weakness. Then you are fools. Turn him over to Sokar now, and he may spare you. I'm afraid we can't do that just yet. If he remains here, you will all die. <sighs> Forgive Lantesh. He is sometimes passionate in his opinions. We cannot and would not force you to do anything. But since Except we have convinced you become a host. Face, I remember. May we see him. What is that you're injecting into his body? Morphine sulfate. To ease the pain. But he is your enemy. He is my patient. I'm on that. Apophis, hear me. I'm on that. I would speak with you. I'm on that. My love. Where are you? He won't be conscious again for a while. Then we will take our leave of him. Incoming truck. Soka has found you. How? His pilots saw your kind flee with Apophis through the chat by eye. The symbols for the Tori are well known among the gold. That oh, well. iris will hold. It's We're a just being titanium a bunch of people are dying. Just a few it's microns fine. from the event horizon. And will allow matter to reintegrate. Something is appearing. How is this possible? The space between your metal barrier and the wormhole may be enough for particles of extremely high energy to reintegrate. Subatomic particles? But isn't it a trinium one yes. now? But are you saying he's firing a particle accelerator at the wormhole? Captain. Sir, Careful, we may be witnessing the flash. decay of subatomic particles as they're being bombarded against the iris. Small enough to reintegrate, but moving at near light velocities. If Sokar can modulate the particle stream enough to create an actual image, then... Equal the tower. The uh, hell? Is mine. For this, you will be I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a beak a little bit. <laughs> the iris is beginning to heat up, sir. How long can they maintain this? The longest single Goa will attack against an iris was 38 minutes. We think that's the maximum a wormhole can be maintained before it collapses. They're just gonna dial us up and do this all over again. This changes things. I'd better get on the phone with the president. It's information that I just can you help us? learned from our comment. I know of no way. Or on, Sergeant! It's getting damn hot in here! I did nothing, sir! Not by much! That's me. These past couple of days. General, 
Daniel just came up with an idea that might buy us some time. Sir, if we can dial out, we can prevent them from dialing in for as long as we can keep the gate open. Good thinking, Doctor. If we can keep our gate open for the same length of time. Coming up on 38 minutes, sir. Stand by. Yes, sir. Go ahead, dial it up. Chevron 1, encoded. Chevron 2, encoded. The only thing I'm worried about is that... They can dial quicker. Coming one more established. So car can dial in faster than we can dial out. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Need faster than Next window's 38 minutes away. Temperature in the gate room now reads 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which means the iris must be six or eight times. What was the 180 degrees, did you say? Temperature in the gate room now reads 130 degrees Fahrenheit. 130 degrees. That's 54 degrees Celsius here. Yeah. I've been experiencing day. That's actually really hot. <laughs> That's a lot hotter than. That's like 20 degree. No. Like 15 degrees hotter than what I've been dealing with this whole week. Fahrenheit, which means the IRS Fair must <laughs> be six or eight times that. Even if he fails to breach the gate, he will come by ship. Martuf is right. What we really need to be concerned with here is another assault from space. That's exactly what we're inviting by refusing to hand Apophis over. Colonel, make arrangements to send Apophis back through the Stargate. Apophis. We're sending you back. Dr. Jackson down here. I'm scaring him to go back. Maybe we've got some answers now. I can't keep those men in there much longer. Clearly doesn't want to go back. That's the point. He, 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 he doesn't care if he dies here. Like. Nice. He says he's been in an unending dream. He hoped to awaken from it to see his wife and his children. He was a scribe in the Temple of Amun at Karnak. But that was another lifetime ago before the... before the nightmare. I said I will speak the words of power and do the rites. You will be returned to Egypt and buried with honor. You will pass through the seven gates and see your wife and children again and rejoice with them forever. Sir, we're gonna lose the computers. Captain? Captain, they're not over here. We need them, sir. One more minute until the window. That's it. Initiate the dialing program. Carter has succeeded in creating an outgoing wormhole. Sokar cannot attack during this time. <laughs> Just him through. Sure that he was dead. So. What now? You wait. If Sokar wanted him alive, he'll just start up the attack again. No, I don't believe he will. Sokar has a sarcophagus in his possession. With it, he can revive Apophis even from death and torture him as long as he pleases. Okay, so. Surely a fate he just that it deserves. These are the coordinates we would like you to send us. But not to anywhere we'll be able to find you again. To contact us, you may use this. That's Tolan. They use it to contact the Nox. Yes, we are friends of the Tolan. And we are friends of the Tar. Well, if we're gonna be friends, you're gonna need one of these. It's called a GDO. It sends out a signal that lets us know who you are and if it's okay to open the iris. Otherwise, you could end up splattered against the... Well, I understand. Come on, I'll show you how it works. All right, let's send them home, people. Oh, 
Alrighty, well that was Stargate SG-1, Season 2, Episode 18. Uh, Apophis died, but he's probably going to be revived by a sarcophagus anyways, so... I don't know if we really got anywhere with this. Um, maybe we got a little bit more compassion for, you know, the host. Um, so I don't know. I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.